Welcome everyone. In today's class, we are going to talk about switching algebra. So, the, this part of this lecture was prepared from this Coavis book, chapter 3. So, uh, whenever we uh, take the combinational part of a digital circuit, it is basically consists of set of gates and you can actually form an expression that represent that combinational circuit. Okay. So, just take an example, suppose you have a uh, combinational circuit like this. Right. So, suppose this is your output. So, in this case, we will talk about these gates. So, this is AND gate, it basically represent A dot B. This is AND gate, say so that is C dot D and this is a OR gate which uh, do this. I right. will talk about this more detail. So, this is the expression for this combinational circuit. Right. So, it has input A, B, C, D and output is out. Right. So, whenever you have this kind of uh, Boolean expression, right? so this is what is called switching expression because here all the variables A, B, C, D can take value 0 or 1. Right. So, it can take only the value 0 or 1. So, these are an expression over switching variables. So, any combinational part of the circuit I can represent using such expression of Boolean variables. Okay. So, now once you have this, we need kind of a mathematical model. right? So, this particular expression may satisfy certain properties, uh, it may uh, uh, have some rules that I can apply here to manipulate this expression. Right? So, and for that we need this switching algebra. Okay. So, what is switching algebra? So, switching algebra consists of uh, this uh, switching variables which can take two values 0 and 1. It is exactly the way a Boolean circuit works okay, or a combinational circuit works. So, so, it consists of two valued switching variables which can take 0 or 1 and it has uh, two operator AND and OR and there is a complement operator NOT. So, I can define a switching algebra like this, it consists of set of variables or switching variables which can take two values 0 or 1 and I have three operators uh, which is uh, AND, OR and NOT and then uh, that is what and then we do uh, these variables, uh, we can express some expressions in terms of these uh, variables and these operators. Okay. So, uh, how this AND works, I have just taken the example uh, here, this is AND right this is and and this is or so what this and looks like so if you have a and gate of x and y so the behavior is like it is x and y right that means whenever x is also one and y is also one then output will be one right so whenever this x is one and y is one then the output will be one and rest of the scenarios where x is 0, y is 0 and one of them is 0, one of them is 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, the output will be 0, right. And it is express, uh, the operator is dot, right. So, it is x dot y or it is also called product, right. So, it is a product term where I am basically kind of, kind of doing a product of two uh, switching variables, right. So, this is about and on OR the notation is like this. So, it is x or y that means if one of them is 1 then output will be 1. If x or y is 1 then output will be 1. Right? So, so, in this scenario whenever you have this uh, y 1 output is 1, x 1 output is 1, both of them is 1 output is 1. It is 0 only whenever both are 0. right? So, this is what is called um, OR operator and it is expressed as x plus. Okay? It is kind of a sum operator. So, this is x plus y, this is how we denote. Okay? So, this is what about this uh, the uh, switching algebra. Now, uh, there are this particular algebra or the variables that belongs to this algebra uh, follow certain rules, those mathematical thing and those we need to learn and that something is useful whenever we try to manipulate this expression. And what kind of manipulation we can do? The first thing is that simplification. Suppose we have given uh, 
an expression switching expression and you just try to say uh, can I simplify this expression so that my circuit size will be less ok. This is one of the optimization problem which is uh, very important in digital domain that I give you an expression or a bigger circuit combination circuit you give me a optimized version which is doing the same thing ok. So, for uh, doing this uh, this kind of properties or the formulas are useful and also suppose I have given you two circuit right. So, uh, the example I have given here is I have taken one circuit then we say another circuit right this is circuit 2 and they have a different structure and I just want to show whether these two are equivalent or not. So, what we can do we can take this to exp uh, the expression corresponding to this circuit and I try to simplify and if they reach out to the same same expression then I can say they are uh, equivalent right. So, in this context there is a concept of canonical form of this uh, switching expression that I am going to talk about in the subsequent class. So, in all those cases uh, you need to manipulate this expression to simplify or try to prove them equivalent you need these properties ok that is I am going to discuss now. The first uh, property is that item potency which says basically if you uh, take uh, the OR operator OR AND operator on the same variable right it is basically x plus y or x dot y right. In this case it will result into the x right. So, which can be proven very easily suppose you have x, x and output is O. So, the value can be 0 0 or 1 1 right because uh, it is x and x. So, in if it is AND right. So, this uh, then in 0 0 case it will be 0 and 1 1 case is 1 right which is basically x. So, output is basically x right. Similarly, if you try to do OR in this case output will be 0 and output will be uh, in this case OR x OR x is 1 right. This is also OR which is uh, again x the value is same to same as the value of x. So, if you just do the AND of two same variable OR of two variable uh, it will result in x ok. Complementation is uh, important. So, in this uh, particular uh, slide I just forgot to talk about this not which is basically the complement operator right. So, it is denoted by prime right. So, if x then complement is x prime ok. So, it is basically the opposite value right. If x is 0 x complement is 1, if x is 1 x complement is 0 right which is given by the dot right x dot is the complement value. So, now in this complementation uh, expression if you take the complement of a variable right x and x bar then what will happen? in this table only the value is possible 0 1 and 1 0 because you are now taking x and x bar right. So, if x is 0 x bar will be 1 if x is 1 x bar will be 0. In this case if you do a OR operator it is always 1 right that is why it is result in 1. And if you do a AND operator 0 1 is always result in uh, 0 because you are doing x 0 AND 1 so 0 1 AND 0 it is 0. So, this is always result in 0. So, that is what uh, this complementation rule right. It is basically says that if you take a variable and the complement of variable if you do a AND it will always result in 0 and if you take uh, the variable and the complement and do a OR it will always result in 1. Uh, other properties is algebraic properties is commutativity, associativity and distributivity ok. So, uh, here uh, idea is, is saying that if you do x or y or y or x it does not matter it will be always the same or uh, if you do x and y or you do y and x. So, if you just swap these two variable the result on chain and it is quite obvious because if you just show this table uh, in this table uh, basically you will see that it does not matter whether this if you just swap this it the value will remain the same right it does not matter basically. So, in, in this case as well. So, this proof is quite intuitive right and uh, associativity says that uh, if you have multiple operator you are doing right. So, it is basically if you do x plus y plus z if you want to do x plus y plus z you can do in many order right. So, you can do this way then this. So, that means you are doing x plus y first then you are doing a, a you are doing a ordering z with that result or you are doing x plus y plus z y plus z first then you are doing x plus that result 
it is basically same thing. So, it does not matter in which order you apply uh, this uh, OR operator for a expression the result will be always the same and uh, similarly for AND operator also same thing right. So, x dot y dot z you can do this first then do this or you do x y first then do z both are same. So, how I can uh, show this it is uh, quite easy what you can do you can just take the 8 possible values of this variable say for example, if you have x y z you uh, the value can be all possible 8 right. So, uh, if 3 variable 2 to the power 3 is 8 because every variable can take 0 1. So, there are 3 variables. So, everybody can take 2 values. So, 2 into 2 into 2 it is 2 to the power 3 possible values right and uh, uh, this this basically calls truth table um, where we are uh, showing that uh, uh, this is 0 0 0 x value then this is 0 0 1 then 1 uh, 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 right and then 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 right this is the possible values this x y z can take right. So, in this case what uh, the easy way to prove it like that you do this uh, x or y and you give the result. So, this is x or y then you do j uh, uh, and of this right uh, this uh, or of this you will get some result right and then what you do you do uh, y z first right you do y z and then with that result you do uh, or with this you will end up having the same result. So, with the truth table we can prove that this associativity holds ok. Distributive is also same thing uh, where you uh, so, so far here you see that I have all in the expression I have applied same operator right either and or or operator. So, in this expression I have applied only and here I am just applying the or operator. Distributive is basically when your expression consists of both operator right. So, it is basically say that x or y plus z. So, here it is important it is not uh, if you write x y uh, plus z it is ambiguous it does I mean it depends on whether you want to do this first or this right. So, so in this case you have to parenthesize expression. So, if you have this you can distribute this and operator over this or operator right. So, this and operator distributes over or operator and what will happen it is x dot y plus x dot z right. So, you are basically doing x dot y and then x dot z right this is the distribution. Similarly, in the other way if you have this x plus y dot z it is kind of uh, this is uh, more close right depends on the precedence, but if you assume that this is more close. So, then you basically uh, distribute this or operator over this and operator. So, then it will happen x plus y dot x plus z right. So, this is what the distribution right this or distribute over and right. So, this is what this distribute property and uh, you can actually prove this again using the truth table. So, uh, for example, I have shown a proof here for uh, this one right. So, what I did I actually I do this x y first taking the value of x y. So, I will get this and you can verify this uh, it is basically taking this two row and doing an and operation right and the and operation is coming here. Similarly, I am doing x and z right. So, I am taking this row and this row sorry this column and doing a and operator and I am going to get this x z right you can apply that and operator ok. And then what I am doing I am just doing y plus z ok and then what I can do I can just do this uh, the or of this two right because I want to do x y plus x z right. So, I have this two value now I can take this two value and do a or and get this right. So, this basically uh, compute this expression. Similarly, I can do this y plus z right. So, I will take this y row y column and this z column and I will get y or z column just combining these two I will get this and then I will take this x and this y plus z and I can combine this using this and operator and I will get this right. So, this is basically my the LHS expression x dot y plus z. Now, if you look into this in this table that this particular column and this column has the same value in same row right. So, so it basically says that uh, this two expression are equivalent because in all possible same values of x y z their outcome is same right. So, this way I can prove the other 
any boolean expressions ok. So, one thing uh, you might probably have noticed now is the principle of duality in switching algebra because you see here whenever I am writing this expression I am writing two version of this one with and one with or right. And uh, so, here the same expression if I just replace this and with or I will get this expression right this or with and I will get this expression. Similarly, in this expression if I replace this or with and right all this or operator with and I will get this expression. Similarly, here in this expression if I replace this uh, or and with or and or with and uh, I will get this expression right. So, it is basically this is always called principle of duality right. If I given a boolean expression or is a switch switching expression if I replace this and by or and or by and and if you have basically 0 and 1 then you replace this 0 by 1 and 1 by 0 you will uh, end up having the other expression right. So, uh, because of this uh, duality of this uh, switching algebra ok. So, let us move on. Now, this switching expression as I mentioned earlier also that whenever you have an expression which is represented with the switching variables and uh, using this and or and not this three operator then that is a switching expression ok. And this switching expression as I mentioned earlier also that uh, for simplification uh, we need to uh, apply various other uh, apart from the rules that I have understood so far uh, we need a few more rules we can accommodate and those can be applied to make it uh, to simplify it right. So, some of the uh, rules are here one is the absorption it is basically say that if you are x and then you are adding I mean ending x with y it is effectively x ok. So, it is basically say that x plus x y is x right how can I prove it. So, I can just do this x and 1 right if you do a and with 1 it will be 1 only right uh, and it will be always x only right plus x y. So, what I can do I can take x common then 1 or y 1 or y is always 1 because in or if one of the value is 1 it is always uh, 1 right. So, this is basically x. So, similarly uh, in the is basically now the duality what I can do I can replace this by and and this by uh, or I will get this expression right this x into uh, x plus y this is also x which is uh, this is also easy to prove you just uh, do this distribution apply the distribute property x and x plus x and y. So, this is x and x is x. Uh, so, this will result in x into x y which is the previous expression right. So, here I can write x. So, this is absorption rule. Thus, other simplification rule is taking the complement of the value. Here what I am doing? I am doing x and x plus x y right. Here I am doing x plus x bar y right. If I earlier I was doing x plus x y right. So, if we basically do a or of uh, x plus x y. So, it is basically x right we, y can be removed completely. In this case I am showing that this is basically nothing but x plus uh, y. So, y intuitively is this uh, is that if x equal to 1 right. So, this is this expression will be 1 right and if uh, because this is our operator if x equal to 0 then uh, it depends on so this x bar will be 1 it depends on y right. So, basically this x bar is redundant in this case right because if one x equal to 1 uh, this whole terms is redundant I do not care because output will be 1. If x equal to 0 then x bar will be always 1 so it does not matter in and operator it depends on the other variable. So, now it will depend on y. So, it is basically x plus y ok. So, again I can prove it uh, the way I prove the other one. So, uh, let me just prove it mathematically. Uh, so, let us start with this x uh, plus x bar y and then what I can do is uh, I can just write uh, I can apply the distribute property again. So, uh, this or distribute over and so, I can write x plus x bar dot x plus y and this is I have already uh, shown earlier that x plus x bar is basically 1 right. Uh, 
So, this is 1 naught x plus y. So, it is x plus y. Right. So, this is a similar way I can also prove this by just distribute x over uh, and over or right we will get it right. So, let me show it also x x bar plus y. So, if I distribute this and over this so x dot x bar plus x y and this is always 0 right that I have already shown earlier. So, this is x y ok. There is one more important uh, theorem called consensus theorem if you look into this expression it is if you see x y and x bar z right. So, in this case you have x which is multiply with y and x bar with multiply z and there is another product term called y z ok. So, that means this y and z get have a product here. It says that if you have this uh, x, uh, uh, x and x bar and then x y and x bar z this, this is a redundant term. Right. It just say that it is result in this in only this. So, this is redundant. Okay. So, x y plus x bar z plus y z then it is basically x y plus x bar z. So, y z is redundant. By duality I will get this. So, I will replace this and with uh, or this or with uh, and. So, this way I will get this expression. Right. So, this is basically x plus y x bar plus z and a y plus z again this is redundant right. So, it will result it only this two product term ok this is called consensus theorem. Again I can uh, prove this easily. So, let me just prove the first one second one will go uh, in the similar manner. So, uh, if I take this x y plus x bar z plus y z what I can just do I can just uh, I can make a 1 here right which is basically x plus x bar x plus x bar is always 1 right. So, then I can just multiply this x bar z plus x y z plus x bar y z. So, here I just do this commutativity right it is basically y z x. So, I just do a commutation I will get this right. So, now what I can do I can take x y this and this. So, this is 1 plus z this is I can uh, simplify like this. So, there I can take this x bar z from this two then it is basically 1 plus y. So, 1 plus something is this is 1 this is also 1 right 1 plus something is always 1. So, this is basically x y plus x bar z right. So, which is the first two term and so this way I can prove the other one as well. So, another important theorem was de Morgan's theorem which handles the complement operation. So, if you have a switching expressions and if you have a com try to complement that entire expression how do you do that ok. So, it has uh, two theorem first one the involution theorem which is basically saying that if you double complement a variable it will result in the same variable which is very as obvious right. So, if you have x which is 0 x bar will be 1 right. Uh, then x bar will be 1 and if x equal to 1 then it will be 0. But again if you do a complement of this so if a x bar is 1 x bar bar will be 0 if x bar is 0 x bar bar will be 1. So, it is basically nothing but x right. So, this way I can show that double complements and result into the same variable ok. So, for two variables it is basically interesting if you have this x plus y and if you try to complement this it is basically again kind of duality what I am going to do I am going to complement this variable and also the operator the dual operator is and right. So, what I am doing here I will take a complement x bar it is complementing y bar and complement the or operator with and. Similarly, if you take x y complement it will complement x it will complement y it will complement the and operator to or operator right. So, it is basically complements everything the variables uh, as well as the operator. So, in general uh, this is for two variable, but you can have big expression of say variables x 1 to x n and if you try and which is uh, over the operator and and or and you try to complement this right. So, you have a function and you try to complement that function this expression is means that and if you have 0 1 also so there may be some 0 1 here. So, the De Morgan's rule say that wherever you have x 1 you replace with x 1 bar 
right. So, every occurrence of x 1 bar will be replaced by x 1 bar. Similarly, if you have x 1 bar that will be replaced by x 1 and 0 will be replaced by 1, 1 will be replaced by 0. You see here the order has changed, right. So, 0 replaced by 1, 1 replaced by 0 or replaced by and 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 replaced by or. So, any big expression uh, you can always uh, if it is complemented you can always write the exact expressions of the complementation using T Morgan's theorem. And here is the again proof of this which is obvious. So, if you have x y you do x bar y bar is this is this complement uh, you do x or y you will get this if you do uh, the x y bar you will get this you see here this is 0 it will become 1 all 1 becomes 0 and then x bar y bar is basically if you do a and of this 2 you will get end up getting this right. Now, you see here this is x bar y bar you are getting this right. So, you are getting this one and x bar y bar is this one. So, it is exactly same right. So, then the complement of this is this ok. So, this way you can prove the other expressions as well. So, I will take an example of uh, expression simplification. Suppose, I have this uh, I have given this expression and I want to find the minimum or simplified version of this. You can see here how many OR gate is used 1, 2, 3, 4, how many AND gate are used 1, 2, uh, 3 and then there is one more here 4. So, there are uh, 4 uh, AND operation and 4 OR operation. So, it is quite a complex expression you can assume. I want to make a simplified version of this expression. So, how I will do it? So, I will take this. So, there is a complement here. First, I will apply De Morgan's rule, right. So, what I will happen? It is x plus y and then if you apply here De Morgan, so you can you have a AND here. So, it will become x and then AND become OR and this is y bar plus z bar complement, right. I am just taking this part, this complement first, ok. So, let me just take this part and explain. So, I am just taking uh, this part and complement, right. So, you will get end up getting this which is equivalent to x plus. Now, if you do this again De Morgan you can apply. So, this y bar will become y, z bar will become z or become and. So, this result in x plus y z, ok. So, I just get this expression from here. This is x plus y this after de morgan's uh, law i'll get this one and the other two terms is this okay then what i can do i can just distribute this right what i can do i can take this over this right so this is basically x plus y into x plus x plus y into yz so if i just distribute it x into x is x then xy this is xyz plus yyz which is yz so, this this first part of the things will result in this right and these are there. Now, what I can do this if you do this x into x y by uh, this rule uh, x x x or x y it is x right. So, uh, I can just write this x into x y which is x right. Uh, then you have x y z plus y z. Now, I can just take this x into this again this y z is can you can consider a single term right this is basically x and then y z. So, this first part will simplify into x uh, plus y z. Now, I can apply the same rule here. So, you, you can actually take this x. So, in with that you have x bar y bar plus x bar z bar. Now, if you take x and x bar y bar it is basically x plus y bar by this rule right this x in x bar then it is x plus y right. So, if I take this and this so x x bar y bar so it is x y bar plus y z plus x bar z. Again I can apply the same rule here it is uh, it is y bar and then it is complement of y bar uh, is y z. So, this is basically x plus y bar plus z plus x bar z bar right. Now, you can again apply this x and x bar z bar. So, again it will result in x plus z bar 
right because this uh, this complement of x bar will consume then y bar and z. So, since here you have z bar and z it will basically 1 right. So, effectively although it is a big expression this is nothing but a constant value 1 boolean value 1 right. So, this is how you can apply all these rules that I have learned so far on a boolean uh, switching expression and I can simplify it ok. So, now I will talk about switching function. Uh, so, we have seen switching expression right. If you have taken an expression uh, and uh, this expression uh, we have seen that for uh, in a truth table uh, what we have seen the for all possible value of this either this expression will result in 1 or 0 right. The way I have uh, shown all those things here right. So, whenever I uh, talked about this uh, if this is an expression this is a uh, switching expression. I will can call compute this based on the all possible value of x and y I will get this right. So, that means I can assume that if this is a switching expression. So, if this is a switching expression uh, that maps this uh, expression to the value of 0 or 1 right. So, this is a function which take a switching expression and this will map this function will map this expression to 0 or 1 based on the value of the variables it involved ok. Just think about an uh, switching expression is this x bar z plus x z bar plus x bar y bar. Now, uh, if you take the all possible value of this you will get all these 8 possible values and if you just uh, compute this you will end up getting this right. So, this is the mapping of x y z to this right. So, it is basically f will map x y z a domain to the domain of 0 and 1 right this is what switching function. So, switching function is basically map n variables to the value of 0 and 1 right and uh, this is what is called truth table right. So, this is how I can represent a switching function. Complement of a function is uh, uh, the same thing that if you know the uh, value of f complement will be just opposite right. So, if you know the f is mapping x y and z to 0 1 in this fashion f dash will do the opposite of this. So, that means whenever it maps to 1 f dash will map to 0. If uh, 0 0 1 map to 0 in f in f dash the complement function will map to 1 it is basically complement this f to f bar. Similarly, if you have two function f and g that will map this x y g into this if I take a or of this I can just take a or of these two values and I will get their or or of these two function right. Similarly, if I know the f and g I can take and of these two I will get just take these two column and do and you will get the and of two function as well ok. This way, this way I can combine multiple function into a bigger function ok. So, uh, one question you might uh, ask how many possible functions uh, are there with n variables ok. So, if there are say 3 variable all possible values is 8 right which is 2 to the power 3. So, if there are n variables the number of possible value this n variable can take is 2 to the power n. Now, you see here in a function uh, this 2 to the power n values are mapped to either 0 or 1 right. So, so, in f I map this 0 0 to 1, but there may be another function g where this is mapped to 0. So, this way this all this 2 to the power n possible value map I will be mapped to either 0 or 1 and a different mapping is a different function right. So, there are possibility of mapping is 2 possible right for each 2 to the power n values there are 2 possibilities either they will be mapped to 0 or 1. So, there are 2 to the power 2 to the power n possible functions are there. Uh, with n boolean variables ok. Uh, there are other algebras like boolean algebra for propositional calculus I am not covering them here detail, but uh, just to give this this is they are kind of very similar to this switching algebra and boolean algebra we can say switching algebra with two value boolean algebra ok. And propositional consequence is also isopermic to this switching algebra. So, the rules that I have discuss so far for switching algebra they are also applicable for both boolean algebra and proposition calculus ok. So, with this I conclude today's discussion thank you. Mm -hmm.